a sigh of relief to yeah, leave the like, dock. Okay, we're finally, the yeah. preparations are done. Yeah. Here we go. Wish us luck. <laughs> This is Bill Chadwick from Oregon State University. I'm out on the Falkor. One of the things we saw at Daikoku Seamount that was really amazing was this tiny little sulfur chimney. Bubbles of gas are coming out and it's spinning out sulfur at the same time. This was something that none of us had ever seen before and it was so amazing to see. Hi, my name's Julie Huber. I am a marine microbiologist sailing aboard the hydrothermal hunt cruise. And these tube worms are fascinating because the way they make a living in this really harsh ecosystem is through a symbiotic relationship with bacteria, so single-celled organisms that live in the gut of these tube worms. They're fixing carbon and using the hydrogen sulfide that's in the venting fluid to create organic carbon that the worms use to grow. We baptized it. That's right. It was an exciting dive. I'm super proud of Sebastian, right? So this has been a long time coming. It's been about a year and a half that I started on this project. And now to see it actually bring up some samples and scientists with smiles on their face and uh, the vehicle's back on board. So we'll be going in tomorrow and just exploring a little bit more. Today we were able to pick up snails from Chamorro Seamount. Alvini conca, and I'm pretty sure the species here is the diamond species, Adamantus. Only known once before, one place. The hairy snails, among the most heat tolerant animals that we have in the ocean. So they live on smokers, right around the highest flows that we found of about 50 to 60 degrees. If you peeled back the shell, you would see a very large gill, and this gill has symbionts. They're chemosynthetic bacteria. They need access to the vent flows, the hydrogen sulfide. So these snails sit in piles around the vent in the high flow, pumping water over their gills to feed their symbionts, and that's how they are then fed from the symbionts. These animals want to get to hot water, but they don't want to burn, so they got to hit it just right. They have to find the right sweet spot. We're hoping to see some patterns here. You know, we're looking for, is there a characteristic set of vent chemistry, biological communities that exist in the back arc? We're trying to fill a gap in knowledge right now. And that's really what this particular cruise is about. Mm -hmm.